Hi everybody, welcome to a new fly tying tutorial. Today I'm going to show you my spin on a classic, the Pat's Rubber Legs. I like to tie it on a jig hook, that way it rides point side up and it snags up less and it makes the hook a little smaller. I know these are traditionally tied in like an 8 or a 6, but I like to tie mine in a size 10 because that's closer to what I see in the rivers in Northern California. I'm going to be giving away 6 of these, so stick around to the end to find out how you can win them. I'm going to start with a size 10 516 jig hook. From Firehole. I'll pair that with a four millimeter matte black slotted tungsten bead. For my thread, I'm going to use 12 watt fluorescent orange classic wax thread from Semperfly. Start off with a jam knot to get your thread started. Wrap back behind the bead and then clip off your tag end. To add some more weight, I'm going to use 0.5 millimeter lead-free wire from Semperfly. Also the same as 20,000th of an inch in other brands. Stick the wire in behind the bead, lock it in place with four wraps, and then we're going to wrap back over the thread until about the hook point. Switch hands, and then wrap that thread over the end, and then helicopter off and it'll taper down and lock it in place. And then make wraps back to the bend of the hook. Now I'm going to set aside two pieces of leg material, this time Montana Fly Company and Speckled Brown in the small size. You can use pretty much any leg material you like. I loop it around the bead and then lock it in right behind the wire wraps. Pull it off and trim it. I, I didn't tie it in very well so I had to put a couple more wraps on there to get that little piece to stay put. But cut off that little loop. For the body material, I'm going to use Hairline's Small Chenille in Coffee and Black. I like to cut off about three and a half inches. That gives me enough to make the fly and have enough material to handle for making my wraps. I'm going to tie that in right behind the wire wraps. And now we're going to make the extended body. So you're going to pinch the leg material and then you're going to make four wraps going up the leg material and then four wraps back over the top all the way back with the eighth wrap being right around the hook shank. And then one wrap of thread to hold that in place. Now we're going to take the other leg material, we're going to fold it in half and do two loose wraps right on top of the wire to get it in position and then you can sort of shimmy it around to get it right where you need it, right in the middle there. And then do loose wraps back up to the bead. Now we're going to take the chenille and wrap it through between the legs and then make touching wraps all the way up behind the bead. And do three wraps behind it to lock it in place. three more on top and you can cut it off. And I, and I kind of like to make mine look like a salmon fly so that's why I use orange thread and I like to build up a little bit of a hot spot collar. Uh, just personal preference. You don't have to do this. And then I'm going to do a six turn whip finish. Cut off the thread. You can cut those front legs off and then you take a second just to sort of position all the legs so they're all perpendicular to the body and then turn the vise or the fly sideways so you can get a good even look at it and trim all the legs so they're the same length. If you don't like them long, you can trim them shorter, cut them to preference. I just like to make them all the same length. Add a drop of head cement and that thing is locked in place. I wouldn't worry too much if there aren't the right number of legs or no antenna because the fish don't seem to care. They don't stop and count them. They just eat it. If you want to be the one who wins these six Pat's Rubber Legs, all you got to do is leave a comment and be subscribed. It's that easy. Now let's see who the lucky winner of the last giveaway is. Who's going to get those shot facts? Alrighty, John, huge congratulations. I hope you enjoy the flies. I'll get those out to you as soon as we connect. If you're not into fly tying, you can definitely buy these in the shop. They're available right now at driftstone.co. If you haven't already, like the video and subscribe. And until next time, everybody, Godspeed.